Time for your China Brief. I look at the stories making headlines in the newspapers and also online. The Shanghai Securities News says overseas capital is flowing back into the Chinese market. It's reporting that foreign funds are actually are growing more upbeat on A shares due to attractive valuations and also Fed rate cut expectations. And of course, we're getting an update on those rate cut expectations literally this week on the dots. While staying in China here, another article suggests that recent capital market reforms are expected to boost investor confidence. It says new guidelines are a response to market concerns and perhaps a better balance both function and profitability, Yvonne, for those banks and those funds. Yeah, a lot of focus on what stocks are doing here these days. Meanwhile, when it comes to what we're hearing from Chinese state media, yeah. calling out BMW at its annual show. Of course, this is the one that airs out some of these consumer complaints about tech issues and poor service. That's what we're hearing when it comes to BMW this time and why they decide to highlight that. So the program criticized the German automaker for technical defects on its 5330 Li model, which was designed specifically for the Chinese market. According to this report, consumers filed complaints about abnormal sounds. They were saying BMW and local dealers did not provide satisfying solutions. And the car maker has since taken to Weibo to apologize. They say the issues will not affect the safety of the vehicle and that the firm will bear all related maintenance costs. Now, the quick response seems to have pleased some medicines out there. Some users also pointed out that it's normal for moving things to make a little bit of noise, right? Yeah. There we go. It's a car. Well, yeah, if things are completely <laughs> silent, that's when you worry. Right? Okay, so that's, that's a China brief for today.